clearly we're looking at a little Slayer match here on Bazaar, one of our new maps. There's a lot to take in, I'm sure, for viewers who are just seeing a lot of stuff for the first time here. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember if we've shown things like the Pulse Carbine being used in first person. I think it was briefly shown in the multiplayer trailer. And I think this is the first time we've shown first person view of someone walking around in Bazaar. I think it has. We're also right now kind of getting a look at the friend and foe system that we've discussed in some of our blogs in the past. This is kind of moving away from forcing players into red and blue. It allows us to kind of maintain that unique armor customization that's become a greater focal point for Halo Infinite. Yeah, and I think this is a this is a pretty good example of that, and I think you're really seeing those colors pop out on the Xbox One hardware. It's great. I think I, I just noticed a custom skin applied to that AR there that we saw briefly. I missed it, unfortunately. I do love the... Oh, yeah. I love the AR skins. It's, th it's kind of nice being able to customize your starting weapon. It's the one you're going to see most often, so I like to have mine... Uh, Looking sharp. Now, internally, from a development and playtest perspective, I mean, obviously, we've got the teams focusing on all platforms and all builds. And safe to say that, that we've got folks truly getting sweaty on Durango, on Xbox Series X and S, and low, me medium, and high PC specs as well, right? Yeah. So, obviously, as I said before, we can't cover every PC spec out there, but we try to have a good range within our testing. And we have folks playing on Xbox Ones regularly, myself included. I try and play test on Xbox One as much as possible, so because it's a really important thing for us to support, and make sure it's looking good. Yeah, it really, it really is awesome that we're able to kind of bring that audience forward with us, right? We, we know there's there's obviously a, a large amount of Xbox One players out there, especially as you know, frankly, some people I think are still eager to acquire a new console, and with some of the supply chain issues that have come around during the pandemic, not necessarily easy for everyone. So. Uh, you know, thankfully, I'm not one of the engineers. I can't imagine it's necessarily a trivial undertaking to be able to scale so so smartly across different hardware. But I gotta say, shaping up super super nice, and really looking forward to getting some feedback from Xbox One players after this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. So that's I think that's gonna wrap up that clip that we have. Now we're gonna show a little more gameplay here in a bit. Um, we're gonna have Tom. French, our multiplayer associate creative director, join us. We have another match from Xbox Series X that we're going to get into. Um, but once this wraps up, we're going to jump back over to the build, and uh, we're going to look through this real flight build here. By the way, I, I heard you're a real Needler, Needler fan. Is that true? <laughs> that is true. I, I love the Needler. I find I think it's one of the most unique weapons we have in Halo, and I, I've loved every expression of it. Hasn't always been the most powerful gun in the game, but it's always been interesting to use. 